From Michael Jordan to Vince Carter, we have been blessed with some of the greatest dunkers ever. Now these guys spent a lot of time in the air, but what about the guys who dunked while still on the ground? In this video, we are going to take a look at some basketball players who dunked with two feet on the ground. What's going on basketball fans? My name is Josh and I am back with another video. We are closing in on 50,000 subscribers, so if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to drop a sub. But without further ado, let's get into it. So first up is Kenny George. Standing at 7 foot 9, 370 pounds, Kenny is one of the tallest basketball players ever. Growing up, he wasn't your typical high school student. By the time he was a sophomore, he was 6 foot 11. 6 foot 11. And by the time he was a senior, listen to this. He was 7 foot 7 and was averaging a triple double with points, rebounds, and blocks. After a super impressive high school career, he committed to UNC Asheville and had this infamous dunk while still on his feet. I mean, this just isn't fair at all, oh my god. George had a solid college career, averaging 12 points and 3 blocks a night, but unfortunately, injuries would get the best of him. He suffered from an infection on his foot and eventually had to permanently retire from pro basketball. But to be one of the only humans ever to dunk while on your toes, that's pretty damn impressive. Now the next guy needs no introduction at all. His name begins with a B and rhymes with Roban. Boban Marjanovic is an NBA fan favorite and there's no question about it. Standing at 7 foot 4, 290 pounds, Boban is actually the shortest player on this list who has dunked while still on the ground. In fact, the man once did it in an NBA game. Back when Bobby played for the Clippers, he dunked right over Mason Plumlee with his two feet clean on the ground after he landed. Take a look at this. And the flush from the chimney of Kostolak. The BMG, the big friendly giant. He didn't even jump. I mean, this has to be one of the meanest photos of 2018. Now, if dunking on two feet wasn't enough, he literally broke the rim on this play and they had to delay the game to go up there and fix it. What an absolute unit. Next is another fan favorite and my personal favorite, Taco Fall. Standing at 7 foot 6, Taco is currently the tallest player in the NBA and one of the tallest humans alive. Born in Senegal, Taco's story is pretty incredible. In fact, I have a whole video coming out about Taco pretty soon, so make sure to hit that sub button so you guys don't miss out. But Taco didn't start playing basketball until he was 16 years old, when he would eventually move to Houston, Texas, where he trained with NBA legend, Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. Taco played four years at UCF before signing with the Boston Celtics in the 2019 NBA offseason. Now during a college practice, Taco just put down a standing dunk with absolute ease. And actually during last year's summer league, Taco had a dunk where he put it down and was still hanging on the rim. Now my question for you is, do you guys think we'll see Taco slam down a standing dunk in the bubble? That would be pretty insane. Next is Paul Sturgis aka Tiny. Now Tiny was a super famous part of the Harlem Globetrotters. I mean who doesn't like the Harlem Globetrotters besides the Washington Generals? But standing at 7'7", seven seven, he was the tallest Globetrotter ever and is one of the tallest humans in the world. During many games, Tiny would dunk on the ground with absolute ease and it kind of became a part of his act. I mean, is this a technical foul or nah? Let me know. Paul would play a couple years in the British Basketball League before retiring and becoming a motivational speaker. But without question, Tiny is one of the most entertaining basketball players I think I have ever seen. Last on my list is Sun Ming Ming. Standing at 7 foot 9, he is the tallest basketball player still alive in the world. I mean, imagine being 7 foot 9. Now, Sun Ming Ming didn't start playing basketball until he was 15, but it didn't really matter because he was always the biggest man on the court. He wears a size 20 in shoes, he weighs 370 pounds, and yeah, he's 7 foot 9. Now Sun never made it to the NBA, but he did play for a couple pro teams in the US Basketball League and in China where he is a two-time CBA championship, not to mention he was in a movie with Jackie Chan, that's pretty damn cool. 
But of course, standing at 7 foot 9 and having a standing reach of over 10 feet, you better be able to dunk without jumping. Watching Sun Ming Ming on a basketball court just doesn't look real, man. It looks like the guy is straight out of the My Park. So those are five basketball players who dunked without jumping. If you guys enjoy the video and want to see more, make sure to drop a sub. We are closing in on 50,000 subscribers and I appreciate all of the support. But that's it for me. Till next time, peace out.